It's the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. It is our mission to try to bring you some news you can use today. It's no exception to the rule. You can follow me on X at the Mike Prince Show. Subscribe to the YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And we always have the 24-hour stream on the website at OBN Radio. Dot com. With all that being established, let us jump right into today's episode. Well, it is homecoming 2023 for the Prairie View A&M University family. And with that, we have the SWAC soccer tournament got on the way on yesterday. Gramlin, the top seed, they took care of business in their opening round. Prairie View fell short and they were eliminated. Jackson State was victorious as well as Texas Southern. So they'll advance on today for the, I guess this will be the semifinal rounds of the tournament and the championship game to be played later on this week. Of course, all eyes are focused on the football season. Even though basketball season, men are scheduled to have a home opener exhibition game on November 6th, which will be this coming Monday. The focus, as we mentioned, on football. University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff coming in town to try to be homecoming records for the Panthers, but the Panthers are going to have plans for a celebration during our homecoming festivities here in Prairie View, Texas. As the Panthers still trying to salvage what is left of the season, the three games remaining, mathematically the Panthers are still alive, but there's going to need a lot of help from other avenues and angles, which starts with them winning the games that remain. So all that is yet to be figured out as we head into homecoming 2023 for this coming Saturday. All of the spirits are high on the campus throughout this course of this week's activities. Fan base is still a bit down. Our survey was completed on whether or not you believe that the Panthers would have a winning season. 83% of you say no, that the Panthers are finito, finish no more. I'm hoping that you're wrong. I'm hoping that you're wrong, but it's all going to take flight on Saturday. Thursday night swag football saw Bethune Cookman hold off the Mississippi Valley Delta Devils by the score of 20 to 7. So the one thing that that assured is that the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils will be the bottom seed of the Eastern Division, unless something drastically happens between the two final games that remain between they and Bethune-Cookman. And as you begin to look at the entire landscape of programs that are consistently challenged, programs that are consistently midway, and then for whatever reason, programs that are consistently in the mix of things. And when you boil it all down, the one excuse, at least in my opinion, that is no longer an excuse is money. We all need money. No matter how much money you have, you're going to need a little bit more money to do a little bit more things. And it boils down as far as I'm looking at this thing, whichever I'm looking at, Prairie View, Mississippi Valley, any other SWAC program, FCS program, because I categorize it that we're all in that same boat to a degree. Your finance challenges are going to be pretty much on the same level. It's just you might have two nickels more than I do, but we are still beneath the poverty line when it comes to athletic budgets. The perfect example for me is all corn. All corn, when you look at it on a scale from one through 12, they are anywhere between 10 and 11th on the budget list, but for whatever reason, Coach McNair finds a way to constantly put out an athletic football program. Now, is it because they are smarter, better equipped? I can't necessarily say that's the case, 
But when you know who you are, embrace who you are, you adjust to what you have, don't focus on what you don't have, and you make the most out of it. With Landon Bussey being over the basketball program, you've seen a turnaround there. There's not been a huge increase of budget opportunities, but you are able to fine-tune and execute what makes your program go. Not necessarily what anybody else is doing, and you try to adopt that way in philosophy. You build your philosophy of what works with where you are. It's been proven time after time again. What works at Alcorn might not necessarily work at Prairie View, might not work at Mississippi Valley. But when you fine-tune and adjust your culture need, your program need, and you let that become the driving force for whatever measuring guides you're using for a totally successful program. And when you really boil this thing down, that's the way I'm looking at it, it comes to systems. Develop your own system. Don't do what everyone else is doing. Dare to be different. We raise our children. Dare to be different. Embrace your uniqueness. And it's the same way. I can't run the scheme that you're running if I don't have the necessary uh, uh, athletes or the, as we say, studs to fit those slots to run that particular style of program. But with what you have, you make sure that you use it to your max. And I've been using this, uh, I guess, comparison for uh, a few weeks now. And it's no knock, so don't nobody get oversensitive. But you have a horse, a mule, and a donkey. Now, if anybody understands that the horse and the donkey come together to create the mule. And because of that unique makeup of the mule, there are some pluses and minuses for that mule. One thing about it, if you were running a sprint, we know that the horse will win 10 out of 10 times because he's a bigger, faster beast. Then the donkey, which is that you know, parent of the mule, they have their purpose. They're not as big as the donkey. I'm sorry, they're not as big as the horse. Definitely not as fast as the horse, but they have some good stamina and their temperament is pretty decent, even though they're known to be stubborn. And then you have that mule who is the hybrid of the donkey and the horse. Now, this mule is a little bit faster than the donkey, but not as fast as the horse. And the people don't realize that the mule has more stamina than the donkey and the horse combined. So what am I trying to say? Sometimes we're trying to run a stallion system with either mules or donkeys. You have to find out what you have in your stall and adjust a scheme to what is accessible to you in order to build a winning program. That's whether if you have Prairie View, Valley, FAMU, any school in the SWAC, any school in FCS, stop trying to copycat one another and create your own true identity. As it is said, to thy own self, be true which then transitions over to the cultural atmosphere of said universities. And I've learned this a many moon ago, and I'll just say it like this, and you can take it for whatever it's worth. There are two types of people in life. You have people who accept who and what they are, and then you have people who try to be something that they're not. An example, I live in the country. I was born and raised in the city, but I enjoy living in the country. And I've had people ask me over many years, well, what's the difference between here or there in whatever said place? I said, well, at this particular location, the people are country and they don't mind being country. They embrace all the things that come with being country. And then on the flip side of that, you have people 
who are country but don't think they're country and they go out of their way to prove that they're not country but when you cut them open and look at the core of them guess what their country embrace who you are and maximize it i know it might sound crazy but as they would say maybe it'll make sense to you later on down the road and speaking of going down the road i've come to the time where i must exit stage left it is homecoming you know so as they say we're going to set our homecoming out but don't forget we're going to be bringing you all the coverage for Prairie View football right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, serving the community through faith and athletics since 2002. We are on a mission of serving our community through faith and athletics. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Don't forget, follow me on X at the Mike Prince Show. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And until the next time, you guys be blessed and we'll see you on the other side.